The idea for today's video came from you guys. I recently filmed two videos on fintech, one explaining what fintech actually is, and the other one talking about the highest paid jobs in fintech. And so many of you reached out to me and asked me about advice on the best courses to take, or simply how to transition from you know, a non-fintech job into fintech, whether you're in finance or not. So I did the research for you. Today I will tell you about the best online courses from really reputable names like Harvard or Wharton that will completely supercharge your fintech skills, open these doors, improve your resumes, get you that fintech job that you crave, or simply help you transition from you know, a, a traditional finance area into fintech. Three things that you need to pay attention to when selecting which course works for you. Number one, you need to pick a course that really fits your requirements. Whether you're a graduate or uh, a data scientist, a coder, or somebody that works in management of a company and you need to lead the transformation of the company into the fintech era, you need to pick the course that is actually going to work for exactly what you need. Number two, there are so many courses out there. So really you wanna get the best value, right? For your time and for your money. So you need to pick a course that is gonna give you a reputable name that everybody recognizes immediately when you put it on your resume or your LinkedIn profile. And number three, you need something that is not gonna take years to finish. You need a course that will help you power through it over the weekend or a few weeks, a couple months at most, and you can put it to use immediately. All right, let's get started. The first course on the list is the Fintech Foundations and Applications by Wharton, which is really one of the best names you could have on your resume. The course is focused on both worlds of the building blocks and the real world applications and has four subcourses within it. The first one is the overview, payments and regulation. The second is cryptocurrency and blockchain and introduction to digital currencies. The third course is lending, crowdfunding and modern investing. And the fourth course is application of AI, insurtech, and real estate technology. Now, this course is actually ridiculously cheap for what you're getting. It's $79 a month, takes only about 30 hours to complete, and once done, you get a certificate that you can display on your LinkedIn profile or put it on your resume. Now, the second course on my list is the Digital Transformation in Financial Services from the Copenhagen Business School. Now, not many people know this, but Scandinavia is actually the leader in uh, digital transformation in finance. Uh, they outrank absolutely every other country in terms of financial transactions um, over digital channels. And this course specifically is focused on the digital transformation of the traditional financial sector. So this is great for people that already work in finance and they need to be credible when talking about finance or leading the transformation from you know, a traditional finance area into uh, the fintech era. A lot of the time is spent on, on formulating uh, the digital and fintech strategy uh, it takes about 40 hours to complete and this course is absolutely free. Again, you get a certificate at the end. Uh, so this is a great course from a reputable institution that really helps you get on the fintech track. Course number three on my list is the Blockchain Fundamentals from UC Berkeley. So again, another fantastic name to have uh, on a certificate from a great institution. Now, this course is focused on enterprise level blockchain implementation and understanding the, the actual scaling struggles of blockchain. There are two sub-courses, one is focused on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and the other one is focused on blockchain technology. Now, this course only takes about 40 to 50 hours to complete and is only $178. So again, ridiculously cheap for the value you're getting and the name behind this course. Course number four on the list is a course on cryptocurrencies, blockchain, and artificial intelligence from the University of Hong Kong. Now, blockchain is a major part of this course. A lot of the time is actually spent on the understanding of the technological and crypto components of the blockchain technology. The other part of the course is the reg tech and security, but this course is really great. It's offered online on the edX platform, which is the nonprofit platform founded by Harvard and MIT. Uh, it takes about 40 to 70 hours to complete and it's $540. So a little bit more expensive than the other courses I mentioned so far, but again, a great institution and a really great value for the buck. Course number five is a course on artificial intelligence from Udacity. Now, this course is really designed for the professionals out there, for the bankers, the private equity people, uh, hedge fund managers, for people that already work in companies and are trying to understand fintech better and lead the transformation. It's really not gonna teach you how to code, it's gonna rather help you to be the leader of the AI transformation in the company, lead the change from a business perspective. Now, this course is four to eight weeks to complete and it's $1,600. So if you can get your company to sponsor and pay for the course, even better. 
And finally, course number six is a course called Fintech Law and Policy. It's offered by the Duke University, which again, another great name, right? Now, this is one of the more unique and practical courses on the list because it focuses on the legal regulations, issues that are associated with peer-to-peer -peer lending, new payment methods, wealth management technologies, crypto, initial coin offerings. It's a really comprehensive package for a course that you can actually take over the weekend because this course only is nine hours to complete. It's free, but it really addresses some of the issues that are not addressed in a lot of the introductory courses on fintech. All right, that's it. Six really good courses for you on fintech. I'm leaving a few more links below to some other courses at Stanford on machine learning, a course on fintech at Harvard, which is actually quite expensive. But just want to say here to conclude this, uh, I think the pandemic offered a lot of us a chance to think about what we want to do professionally. And uh, obviously fintech is a growing industry with a shortage of good people, good qualified people. And these are courses that are very affordable, uh, very easy to do over a matter of weeks and months. And that should really help you uh, change the direction of your career if fintech is something that you want to do. All right, take a course, go kick some ass, give a like to the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you in a few days.